Hello and welcome. I'm your host, The Highway Ghost. And today, I'm in Savannah, Georgia, taking a look at the historic Pirate's House, which is now a restaurant. But the history of the Pirate House dates back into the 1700s, and it was a place that was a tavern, and I heard it was a brothel as well. And also, the inspiration for Treasure Island. But the Pirate's House is actually one of the most haunted locations in Savannah, Georgia. You can see the the blue uh, paint around the windows and doors. It's an old African tradition to keep ghosts out, or at least keep them in. But this right here it has a historic sign. It says, built in 1754. Visitors are welcome. The old pirate's house associated with Savannah's history and Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island. They said that the captain actually died upstairs and people that have been dining here have witnessed poltergeist activity of food and plates and stuff like that being knocked off the table. And at night if you come out here, you can look down right here and you can actually see up onto the house. It wasn't until years later when they were doing some work on a bathroom system because a toilet fell through the floor when they discovered that there was hidden passageways that led from the restaurant to the bay and that was how pirates once used this secret canal to hide out and to go back to their ships and they would also get people drunk and basically kidnap them and use them for new crew members because nobody really wanted to volunteer to be a pirate during my time of visiting this back many years ago, I witnessed some paranormal activity with an extreme cold spot. And it was actually at the stairs that went up to where the captain passed away. And I talked to some of the actual employees and they told me that they had witnessed strange things happen. One time there was a storm came in and the power had went out and there was some plates and condiments just went flying off the table and that was just one of many many paranormal events and when I walked inside here it felt like someone walked up in front of me and just jabbed me in my shoulder as hard as they could like with a, like a really fast poke with their finger like there was you know like somebody walked up and was trying to start trouble with you by just poking you in the chest and I had never been here and I witnessed that firsthand the first time I ever stepped inside this place. But you can see how old it is, and it's a big part of Savannah's ghost and haunted history, as well as American literature history and paranormal activity history and just historic in general, but check out that cool sign up there. Pirate's house. The uh, coal spots, Poltergeist activity, secret rooms, it's got it all. So if you're ever in the area of Savannah, this is a this is a must. So you can see it's just very, very historic. I like that skull and bones up there. Check that out. Jolly Rogers flag. But anyway, this is the entrance way into the pirate's house. Entrance only. And it was right inside those doors where I had that poltergeist attack me. People can laugh and say what they want, but the supernatural is very real. And if you don't believe it, you can come to places like Savannah, Georgia, and you might just experience something of the paranormal. So I'm going to see if I can film in there. I'm not sure if I can without having a reservation to eat. But if not, then this is good enough. But, okay, this is pretty cool. It's the secret chamber that leads to the sea. That's super cool. Captain Flint's hallway. 
Now this is the hallway they've said that the captain walks down through here and people have actually seen his spirit pass through doors that were added years later. That he comes right through this area and he's passed right through here. There's an extremely cold presence. The pirate house is a real haunted house. It's a place that's always been fascinating to me because Savannah, Georgia in general is a ghost town. And I mean, an old creepy house. I mean, this is 1700s, but not only is it old, but imagine the stuff that's happened here. Imagine the fights and the murders and the kidnappings and all this paranormal stuff that's just festering within these walls and all the souls that are trapped here from down through the history of this town. Savannah was originally the, the capital of Georgia, then it changed. And anyway, there's that kitchen, the haunted hallway. But um, it's really chilly right in this section. You can, you can feel it. I'm not sure. This is Captain Flynn's hall. The door is locked. Whoa, I just, I just got camera glare. But if you look at this right here, this is the stairs that go up to supposedly where he died. Like in the story of um, Treasure Island. I actually have a pirate up there, so you can see there's a pirate up top. And that's pretty creepy. But anyway, this gives you an idea. This over here is the, the herb house. It was a botany shop from what I've read. And it was connected to this. Look at this old trunk. And this ship right here. But anyway. I don't want to be rude and film people eating dinner, so I'm just going to cut the camera off. But anyway, this is a glimpse of the pirate house in Savannah, Georgia. I'm still getting camera blur. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm the Howie Ghost and Strange Travels.